about herbal medicine, it's about reincarnation, it's about mental illness, Labrador retrievers, oh, yeah, yeah. embroidery, okay? It's about embroidery. Are you guys right over there? <laughs> Sheet Festival in Alora. All the volunteers were so nice and helpful and it was great to see so many vendors in fiber arts who did different kinds. There were artists selling macrame, uh, baskets, purses, raw wool, uh, so many different kinds of artwork to see. And there were a couple food trucks there, uh, live bands playing, and even a free station where you could do some weaving. Also, Alora is just a really beautiful town. It's got lots of old, unique looking buildings there and it's just surrounded by nature. I did really well at my booth, which is nice. Uh, I think because I had a lot of friends and family come to visit me, but I also did get to connect with some new people who really liked my work, so that was really nice to see. I sold my embroidered piece titled Nurture. Uh, so I was really happy about it, but it's kind of bittersweet because uh, I loved her so much. But the lady was really nice and I'm happy to know that she's going to a good home. I also got to see Care in there, my friend from university. Uh, we haven't got to see each other a lot since we're out of school now. So we were really excited, like two giddy school girls. She was at the festival because she works with SAIL, uh, which stands for Student Art Innovation Lab. They run free programming for children and gallery exhibitions out of a vintage Airstream trailer. So it's really cool, like super fun job. <laughs> so at the festival they had uh, an exhibition for Sarah's work. She was also my classmate at Waterloo and I love her work so much. The only thing that wasn't great um, was that I didn't really take care of myself that well. <laughs> I didn't sleep enough the night before. I probably could have drank more water during the festival and ate better. So the next day I felt pretty terrible. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely going to remember that for next time, especially because the next festival uh, that's in Toronto, it will be a two day event and I really don't want to you know, waste all my energy the first day and not want to be there the second day. So if you're around the area, it will be in Toronto at the Queen West Art Crawl, and I'd love to see you there.
Oh, she holds it above her head. Trees. Guess who got mail again? <laughs> I feel like every month I just order something from artists that I love online, but it's really fun to get art in the mail. So this is from Minnie Small. She did some watercolors of houses and I'm really excited to open it up. The rest of the month was really hectic, so I'm just going to summarize it now. I got a commission from a cafe, which is really exciting, but I found it really hard to film, and I won't be finishing it till August, so it will be in the next vlog, as well as another commission that I got at the end of July. And I also just wanted to give a huge thank you for watching this video, and if you've seen my other ones, I really appreciate your support, and I love making these videos for you guys and sharing what I love to do. So thank you so much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!